Hello YouTube, this is your boy Fitness Dreamer. Welcome to my channel. Which one is better? Let's find out. Stay tuned. Hello YouTube, this is your boy Fitness Dreamer. Welcome to my channel and today on my channel we're going to do a video about upper chest, upper pecs, right? This is a very important muscle when you, when you start the gym and you can see the people in the gym, they always lack upper chest and they always don't know which exercise to rely upon. And today in this video we're going to talk about upper chest in fully detail and we will compare the Smith machine with the free incline bench which one is better let's find out stay tuned okay hi guys now in this is the incline bench press anybody knows about this machine right man and after that we will focus on our upper chest we'll use this machine and I will do the I'll do some reps on this machine and you guys will see the upper chest stimulation. Let's use this machine and once you sit on this machine, you adjust this part here. Some people are tall, some are short. You can adjust this part according to that, all right? And then your feet down and you will put your back on your bench. These are the shoulder blades and you will stick them to the bench. And after sticking, you will not move. You put your hands over the bar. Many people use this much width. It's not good because it will have tension on these shoulders. So what you do is you just come inside the shoulder width. And then after you grab the bar, your body is stable. There's no moment. And then you take the bar up. And after that, you just chest out and you go slowly down down upper chest so here is the case some people go down some people go here four centimeters up it gives you the upper chest stimulation so what you do is you just go up slow up explosive power when you go down you go slowly and you just go up explosive power then again power After you do some reps, you will exactly feel if you are getting any stimulation over the upper chest right here, okay? You can see right over here. So it depends on you. The tempo should be according to uh, your moment. It should be slow, not too slow, not too fast. It will give you the appropriate stimulation for your upper chest fibers. Okay guys, now this is a Smith machine, or we can say this is a variation, a rack pull, rack pull machine. We can use it for squats, military press, and many other exercises. We can also use it to build our upper chest, which is our topic today. So what you want to do, you make a setup. For example, this bench, you can right put it here. You can change the angles of this bench, which is like 30 degrees, or you can change it to 45 degrees, or you can change it to even lower level which can be ideal for your upper chest. And after this, you can change to 30 degrees because here you will not use your shoulders, you will not use your any other shoulder joints. So what do we do is we move a setup like 45 degrees and we sit on the bench with our back, stick to the chest, stick to the bench, sorry, and then you can put your hands over here 
a shoulder width apart. Don't go too far because it will put more stress on your shoulders. So we come inside here, these two rings. We will take it out and we just do like this and then arch. Then you go down slowly, slowly. As you come here, you can go down if you are enough stable or you can stop here at 4 cm above your chest. After this, you can just do explosive movement. Go tempo slow, explosive. Tempo slow, explosive. Tempo slow, explosive. Look at my upper chest. When I come down, and look at the squeeze, boom. Look at the squeeze, boom. Look at the squeeze, boom. Or you can do your head up while you go down, head down while you go up, all right? And then you can repeat the moment again and again as per the reps you are going to do. So this is a very easy machine to follow if you are a beginner because in, when you are a beginner, your energy level is not too much. Maybe your nutrition is not on the point. You need a lot of carbs to pull up some serious weight. So for this, you can use for beginners. So in conclusion, guys, what did we learn today? We learned we can use the free bubble bench press, we can use a Smith machine to build up a chest. But here's the deal. So if you are a beginner, you surely have to use the Smith machine because your shoulders, your shoulder joints are not stable yet. So what you need to do is you need to do more push-ups. You need to use Smith machine with the low weight so that your shoulders become stable. Your accessory muscles like triceps, shoulders become stable. You can handle the weight on the free barbell be incline bench. So in conclusion, beginners, you need to use the Smith machine. And when you get to some level, like an intermediate or advanced level, you can use the free barbell bench press, which is still the best from the golden era till right now, which I have been also using for my upper chest till now. So if you want to incorporate the free incline bench in your routine, you can use the low weight or you can first use the empty barbell to practice the form, the correct form and low weight so that you can, con you can know how to control and the technique of the elbows and the shoulder joint. It will it'll give you a lot of energy to lift that weight up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You enjoyed the, the, the process which we have been shooting so far in this video and stay tuned for the next video coming.